Welcome to the first episode of Trailer Talk Monthly. You may be asking yourself, didn't you do this before? Yeah, but this time I got these two jackasses with me to voice their opinions and thoughts of upcoming trailers. So let's start this. This week we're going to talk about Batman vs Superman. We're also going to talk about Jurassic World. And we'll be taking a look at the second teaser trailer for the new Star Wars. So let's start with Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Mike, you seem to enjoy this trailer. And What's I your seem, thoughts and opinions? Well, I seem to be the only one that enjoys it. Um, having not seen Man of Steel, I know, shame, but I'm a big Batman fan, and I hope, I hope. See, it's not that I, I have hope, I have some hope for the movie, it's just what I see in the trailer I don't have faith in it as much as I did when it was announced. It seems very like, um, DC has kind of taken a whole different approach from, from Marvel, right? Where Marvel's really set up this sort of, this grand, they, they kind of set up this, this, this sort of grand plan with the Avengers, right? We had a, you know, all, all the, you know, films with each character and we kind of got to know their story arcs and, and it, it, you know, the Avengers made, made sense. You know, with Batman versus Superman, it's 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 going to turn into the JLA. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, um, and you see that we have Wonder Woman and, and, and Aquaman, and, and this just I don't know. It seems like it's going to be very congested because we haven't even seen these characters in the trailer yet. So, I mean, I'm really scared that you're going to hit these very hollow versions of, of DC char characters, and it, it, it could be a big sh mess, right? Just a big. It's yeah. going to be a big shit show. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You're right, Marvel was on top of the game. They are already planning 20 years in the future. Oh yeah, there's no catch up. And I think that's, and that's what DC's trying to do. Like yeah. DC has the small screen down pat. Like Arrow's pretty good. Gotham, for what I got to see of Gotham, Gotham's amazing. I like Gotham. And see, that's where they should have really played it smart, right? Like especially with Smallville, right? Like like Smallville, they had an opportunity there to really, you know. They could have won a movie. I don't know why they didn't. I think it's something to do with the, the main actor didn't want to play Superman in like like a big screen role. But you're right about the small screen. And it's funny because like DC in the comic world has always sort of been more consistent. Where Marvel has always kind of reinvented their characters. And it's just funny how now on in the media of film, it's it's a completely different sort of it's the opposite now, right? Where you have DC just seems kind of all over the place. And, yeah. And Marvel seems really have a little well thought out. Like I had high hopes in Ben Affleck taking this and running with it. Like I know a lot of people were against Ben. You were the only one that liked Ben Affleck. <laughs> I feel games. I feel like I was the only one that did a video for him. He's a comeback kid, right? He looks, I mean, he looks great. I think he looks great in the movie. Yeah, yeah. The because his last movies were good. Like The Town, I love The Town and. Well, you told me about it, and I didn't have faith in to watch it until you said to check it out. Like, he, he can play the fucking shark in Jaws, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss that, right? But, I mean, you know, he, he's a good actor. He's got it, right? He just He's a good actor now. I didn't really like him to begin with, but... I just don't know what's going to happen. Like, is, is he Batman material? I don't know, he might be Bruce like, Wayne material, but Bruce. Batman That's what you have to material cast. is different. You have to cast Bruce. Yeah. Because let's face facts, George Clooney was a terrible Batman, but he oh, was an awesome good Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, right. He was a cool Bruce Wayne. I didn't yeah. even like him as Bruce Wayne. No? No. No, really. I thought it was suave. He's a good older, mature Bruce Wayne, right? But like Batman, yeah, he was shit. The nipples, right? No. <laughs> Nobody will ever be that in West. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think that's where we're capping this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I don't know. What would you guys well, think of the suit? The metal suit? The metal oh, suit? Shit. I, don't I, I don't know. Like It was all this build up and everybody thought it was going to be for the Dark Knight Returns movie. And then it turns out that we get Robo Batman. Well, like, that's how that I kind from, of feel about they that. They take that from a Batman cartoon, the Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Doesn't he have a metal suit made of kryptonite? I'm not for sure. I don't know. He has, yeah. he has a metal suit at one point to face off against Superman. 
See, I should have done more research. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, well. They're taking that from the comics anyway. Well, the cartoons. And we still don't know. There's rumors about a Robin. We don't see anything. And the other thing is they're really banking on Batman v Superman, but there's so much information about the JLA. Well, that's what I mean. Or, yeah, like, or at least the characters. The movie's going to have to be four hours long just to include it. It just looks like a movie mess. Yeah, and they should have took their time. Like, yeah, it's a little late to the game to take your time, but the build-up would have been better. Well, and then, I didn't think they even announced whether there's going to be a sequel. I think it's just a shot in the dark, right? Like, if it flies, it flies. If it doesn't, we're going to end up with, like, another golden compass or something stupid like that, where, like, there's, you set it up for this, but it's, you know. And it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere, right? And so, then, the one thing I wanted to point out before we move on is that they bank on, DC's banking on the last three Batman movies and the non, yeah. the non like comic book fans, like somebody like my father who enjoyed those movies, yeah. will end up seeing this and being like, what the fuck was this, when it yeah. wasn't even... Like, you have to scrap those three to start again. And just to say about Batman vs. Superman, it's such a comic booky. You know, I don't know if it's going to fly. I mean, it might, it might fly well on panels and on, on paper, but I don't know how well it's going to fall into a movie. It's... I don't know. I guess we'll see. I everything, mean, I'll, everything looks good on I'll, paper. I'll check it out. I mean, you know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so there you got it. Alright, so, what do you guys think of Jurassic Park 4, Jurassic World? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. was... I don't know. Okay, well, here... Uh, it's such a dead concept. I don't know if it's a dead franchise or not. I'm excited. I think it looks good, except for the raptor training. I'm actually quite upset. My host just kept getting, like... It's like kicking, like, the dead horse or whatever. Yeah, like, like feeding a dead horse. The, I mean, like... First of all, it was so amazing, it was so groundbreaking, and it, but then it, but then it's a double edged sword, right? Because you can say the first one was so groundbreaking, but it also was the first thing to get us into this whole CGI mess, right? So you know, playing devil's advocate, right? But then you know, Jurassic Park: Lost World was such a piece of shit. It and was. The third one was so bad. The third one was worse. And like, I way. tried to watch the third one like a year ago, and like, I was like, what the fuck is this? And, like, it was so bad. Taylor Leone and William H. Oh, Meese. Like, Taylor Leone was the no worst. No chemistry. What sort of I mean, but so the cast in this one looks. You get Chris Pratt. I mean, that's. Chris uh, Pratt's pretty hot. The cast. Like, everyone's all over The yeah. cast looks good, but as people who may watch any of my other videos know, I love practical effects and the animatronic, the practical effects in the original Jurassic Park yeah. is what made me as a kid be like, there's real dinosaurs. Yeah. And really well, that stole. Well like you. And my little yeah. like, yeah, I'm there. And it just made the movie, and it's, now we don't have any by the looks of it. There could be, well, but we don't see any. And, and that's the piss off, right? Because if Star Wars can do it, why can't Jurassic Park do it, right? Because Star Wars, that's the big emphasis on 7, right? Is that it's going to be using practical effects again. They, they brought BB-6 out on stage and showed it all working. Like, yeah. They brought the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like that, like... You know, why can't you see that in other big, especially with Jurassic, Park, with Jurassic World, they, they, they seem to be throwing bigger budgets or putting a big budget on an old fran franchise. So, I mean, you might as well you know, do it right instead of, like you said, like just regurgitating, you know. And that's one of my CGI. biggest problems with most new movies that are reboots or sequels to old fucking movies. It's just. Let's regurgitate Are we to and swear? see. Yeah, I'm gonna let us swear. I don't care. And it's gonna be. Well, I'm so quiet because I'm gonna try to censor myself. Well, no. Uh, should we just redo this part? Um, no, just keep, just keep it. Okay, one sec. It just seems like Hollywood just kind of keeps spewing out the same stuff. Like, I'm not trying to bring up old movies, but we had that terrible Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, but retro's cool right now. Everyone wants to bring it back. But yeah. Instead retro, of remaking it, they want to do a sequel. Retro can be alive. cool, but if you're going to do it, do it at least okay. See, not I like the Abrams thing. Like, What, what did he do with Star Trek? Because he took you know, Star Trek, and, and, and now he opened the universe to do new things. Right? He split the universe. But up. yeah, he split the whole universe, He's, so everything that happened already happened. Yeah. And now he can redo it in the same world. But like you said, now it's hard because you can't do that with every. You just Obviously, can't put you can't a, a wormhole in every movie. With yeah. every movie. Right, but I mean, you're right. I mean, 
Hollywood does need. I mean, but that's Hollywood. It's always done that. I mean, the same thing is with you know, the Seventh Samurai and the Magnificent Seven. And they're remaking that. Yeah, and they're remaking that again, right? So I mean, the Seventh the Samurai came out what like and like, I was like it was black and white, so it must yeah, have been 30s. you know pre college yeah thirties forties maybe like, yeah. and then you have you know the minute then. Magnificent Seven, which is just a you know regurgitated idea. So I mean, it's always been doing that for years and years and years. But I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's just doing it right and, and trying to do a fresh take on it or bringing it up to date. And this seems to like again like I have a funny feeling as well. Like this, if this takes off this Jurassic Park, it's going to be you know they're going to set this up for another I don't know trilogy. Chris Pratt yeah, but chapter I think, of Jurassic But that's Park. how you make money too, is mm -hmm. the trilogies. And I'm not saying that the movie itself is going to be terrible. Like, I'm going to go see it, and I'm hoping I walk away happy with it. Like, it's not like I want to hate the movie. Just stupid popcorn <laughs> flick, right? Yeah, I hope yeah. it's more than popcorn flick. Yeah, I'm just hoping I enjoy it. It's never gonna win me back like when I was a child and see yeah, the first one. Yeah. Like that's the other thing that we have to that remember. Magic is, yeah. Like Kevin Smith said it best about the Star Wars prequels was people our age was like, boo this, but the children loved it. Well, oh yeah, it captured and, that and that's where it was successful, right? He set up to do what he said he was gonna do, and that was capture a whole new generation of Star Wars mm -hmm. audience, right? Like well, I went to go see the uh, Jurassic Park 3D, yeah, and right. there was a yeah. bunch of kids in it, yeah. and they seemed like they loved it, and I was like, well, this is going to be the next it's thing. Well, it's and really, we, really well, yeah. We enjoyed it, like, we went to see it, and I, yeah. I had a blast. Well, yeah. It aged quite good. Yeah. yeah, and the 3D was really amazing, so... Yeah. I didn't really find the 3D that good, but no? the chance to see it in the theater with the surround sound, that's why I Did you go with the uh, IMAX? Yeah. No, I didn't see that. No? See, I saw Jurassic Park, the original, like, like, like I saw it at the drive when it first came out. Yeah. I saw Jurassic Park when it, on the big screen before, and then seeing it again on the big screen was cool. Um, and yeah, like, it stood up well, you know, for what it was. I mean, I wouldn't see the sequels or in theaters, but... No, I wouldn't see the sequels, but I will go see Jurassic World, like... Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. I'll, I'll put my money on it again. So I think. So I think we're all on the same page. Is that except Mike? Like I'm a little more hopeful. Yeah. You have more hope. We're gonna go see it. I, I'm. I'm. So I'm, and see the other thing that bugs me too. It's like I was saying to you too. Watching the trail. Like our knowledge of dinosaurs too has. has yeah. So like a, from the we know story. this. Like we know that raptors don't have look like they did in Jurassic Park one, right? So I mean like. I don't know. I'm 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 interested to see how they if they just completely ignore those those things and just kind of pretend it didn't happen. Or do they know. just completely? That's a that's a fact too. Now thinking about it, is they don't even talk about like if they're gonna just total the original. Yeah, movie like you don't like, know. Yeah. That's another thing that I guess we didn't really think about. Like. Well, I I read somewhere that the backstory was that like this is like the original island. Yeah, like it's rebuilt. Over. They've rebuilt the entire John Hammond's idea. Yeah, because they even talk about John Hammond in one of the trailers. Yeah, I think that's the because he's been dead for so yeah. long by this time, right? And they so, have one of the engineers in the trailer. That's right. From the original park too. So yeah. And I think the red, isn't the redhead girl related to John Hammond? Like, isn't she like? Has that come up yet? I don't know. I I, I maybe know. I'm just maybe I'm speculating or maybe I could have read that somewhere. Right. It could be. It could be. Who knows? Right. So. Oh, they're, they're definitely using the first movie as a base. Oh, yeah. I think they're totally ignoring the... Two and three? Those two no, and three. I, I, I they're going to pretend those didn't happen okay. and hope this one re... You know. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, put my money on it for sure. I, I mean, I'll go see it. But I mean, if they're already genetically modifying dinosaurs, like hybriding them, then they can explain away whatever they want. Well, yeah. See, that's... that's Raptors the are supposed like, to have feathers, yeah. but we engineer them so they don't. Yeah, yeah, I guess one one line can fix everything. Well, that's what yeah. yeah. Or fuck it up. Right? Or fuck it up. Like turtles, right? Oh, they're not <laughs> they're not aliens, but oh, we'll slip that little. Oh, that little I, uh, I didn't watch it. Because we're, missing, no, we're, we're messing with stuff we found from no, space. You can check my review out in the links below. Stop plugging yourself. <laughs> Plug yourself later. So there it is for Jurassic Park. So next, we're going to be talking about the uh, second teaser for the new uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. So, uh, guys, what's your, your thoughts and takes on the new trailer? Uh, uh, I think it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you, you messaged me the night that it came out, and I told you right up front, 
One second I'm gonna watch it and message you again with, I think I just cheated on Samantha. <laughs> like, it was just amazing. Yeah. It was, I was just blown away, like, after the last set of movies we got. Yeah. This is a nice yeah. breath of fresh air, and I think it will be good for hardcore fans, semi Star Wars fans, yeah. and the younger generation. I think everybody's going to be happy about this. Yeah, it might bring it into full circle because you, you you really do now have a fan base that's very split. You have um, you know you have, you have the, the old school guys and you have the new school guys because there is there is a fan base for those three movies surprisingly. Um, but I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, those two guys are great. <laughs> yeah, those two guys are yeah, exactly. Those two, everyone under like nine <laughs> who really loves those movies. It's but, funny. I, I wish my buddy could be here. I'm not gonna mention his name. I don't know if he wants to be mentioned. He's this huge Star Wars fan, and I'm like, oh, he'll agree with me that those suck, and he can point out the good stuff in those movies. Well, and I'm just I'm overshadowed with like hatred of the bad stuff where I'm like, yeah. you're nuts. Like I went and saw I hadn't seen episode one. I saw episode one in the theater when it first came out. And I saw it the, the second time I saw it was when they did it in three D. Like so that was like the only two times I watched it. And like episode one it was like so bad. <laughs> so bad. Like it's like really it's not that good. Now I, I I've heard there if you go to yeah, I don't know, I forget what the site's called, but like, um, like a fan re-edit site. And I've heard there's some pretty good, like, fan edits, and Topher Grace, supposedly, from that 70s show, has edited all three films into one. Really? It's supposedly, this is I the big, like, it and it, it's supposedly, like, it, it, you, you can't find it because you'll never see the light of day because of, like, but supposedly it's supposed to be really good because you've cut out all the excess, right? But those, those three films so change. Yeah, the Jar Jar, yeah. But those, films, those, those three films changed the way 4, 5, and 6 were viewed, right? You know, and this one, I don't know, again, I, I don't know, I, I have a lot of high hopes. See, one, like, so. I want to talk about JJ, is the fact that I like the original Star Trek, like William Shatner Star Trek, mm -hmm. and I wasn't a huge fan of anything That's after right. that. Yeah. So when he did Star Trek, I was like, I don't care. And bored one night, I decided to watch him, and loved him. Oh yeah. I was in the theater uh, to watch it, man. I knew. It was yeah, same here. Yeah. Him. And ever since that, that man can't do anything wrong. Like He's besides, good. we might have to put some sunglasses on for lens flare. We might be good. Like. And I think he's gonna do the like because I mean like <laughs> look at a lot of people were upset at that like. They they destroyed the expanded universe. Like they they, they basically have said that like all that six stuff movies that, are the only movies in the universe. Well, yeah, and like well, I mean there were I think there's like two or three books that are actually officially can canon, but that um, that trilogy that is that essentially has been you know uh, um, six or sorry seven eight and nine like were like the twins with Han Solo's twins and all that. They're saying that's now gone. I think you know J.J. will kind of. Probably using a guy. Yeah, yeah, like I think it's going to be a guy. Like, yeah, you know, sure. I wouldn't be you surprised. You wouldn't just scrap it without any. No, like I think there's going to be, you know, like I don't think he's going to totally ignore Because that's years of hard work that those fans have put in. Yeah, there's so job, much so. source material and he could take anything. Like yeah, what we see doesn't really... How about that opening shot? With the... Star uh, Stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is cool, yeah. And that's not Tatooine, so, you know, that's Jack Koo or something? Jack that they announced it at the celebration that it's not Tatooine, oh. that's a new planet called Jakku. So it's just kind of neat too. Like again, like we're we're really we're seeing old things, but in a but new expanding it. Yeah. So this forward. this is really interesting. And then again, seeing uh, you know Darth Vader or the Anakin's original lightsaber, you know, which got cut off with the hand. So you know, and we're the, find out. And the head. And the mask has been all mauled. Like why someone went and picked that out of Endor. It doesn't, you know, so there's all these, so, there's lots of questions, and, and from the end, of course, we see Chewbacca and Han Solo, which, you know, there's the comment that, you know, we're home Which again. gives me shivers yeah. when you talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, again, seems like, you know, states that they, they haven't been in the Falcon for a while, so, you know, there's a big question of what's, where's the Falcon been for so long, and, yeah. yeah. And when we were talking about it before we started shooting, I just wanted to bring that up, is that Chewie has not aged a bit. 
and everybody had their opinion about that. Yeah, uh, yeah Wookiees we, lived to 400 years old. Yeah, we talked with the lifespan. Yeah, so he's still, so. still young. So, so. <laughs> it's just so funny how we talk, yeah. 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 <laughs> we talk about this as if it's like science. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wookiee lives for 400 years. Like, come on, did you know it? It's like, you know it. But yeah, yeah. So, but there's yeah. a lot of cool things in this trail. There's, there, it's, it's not giving us yeah. everything, and there's actually I watched a, a, another re rewind, and uh, someone pointed out the the ominous figure, and there's the part with the stormtroopers in front of like um, uh, there's like the new banner for what's oh it looks just like that's probably you know, yeah, like, and there's like this weird mysterious like figure in a black cloak. Now we don't know if that's Kilo Ren or whatever the hell his name is, but um, do we know who's holding the, the lightsaber too? The Oh, we don't know. The, actually, someone pointed out uh, too that it, it, if you zoom in on the hand, the person handing it to someone young um, is a, it's an alien with looking hands. On, uh, which I, I didn't realize that without taking a closer look, and it does look kind of like an odd hand. So, you know, whoever this person is, you somehow got the lightsaber again. Again, we don't know how, but you know, so there's a lot of cool things in this trailer, and there's there's lots of speculation, which I, I think is a sign. It's a good te teaser. I mean. We're not getting the full, you know. Oh, exactly. We're getting, we're getting teased. I we're getting teased pretty hard. I yeah. kind of feel like we may not get a full trailer for once. We might just get teasers. And if, to be That'd fair. Be cool. Yeah, to be That'd fair, be cool. it hasn't been done. We always get no. trailers. Why not just give you some teasers instead? Because yeah. then you're holding on to a lot of. Oh, yeah. A yeah. lot of the yeah. story. Because a lot of. My big problem with trailers in general is they either give away too much or completely stray away from the movie. Can be misleading. Yes. Yeah. And you think you're going in for a thriller and you come out as a fucking comedy. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, and this is, again, like, like, like it does a really good job at, at really hooking bait or whatever. Right? Like it really has me, I just separate, like, I, you know, I cannot wait for this and I will. It's one of those experiences, I think, if, if you're into movies, going to see a Star Wars movie in the theater is, even if you don't like Star Wars, it's something that is, is it's an experience, it's, it's a really rare experience to, to come where the people are clapping and, and, and yeah. you know, but as soon as that, you know, everyone's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen a Star Wars movie in theaters now that I think about it. Yeah, I've never oh, seen never? Oh, no, I've never seen one. No, I missed oh. one and then everyone said it was terrible so I didn't go see two and three. Oh, exactly. exactly. I saw, I, I've seen the original trilogy when they did the remasters. In '97, so I've seen actually like I've seen all six in theaters. Oh wow! Nice. Um, and like seeing them in theater, like I mean, like when I saw a New Hope in, in, in theaters, like oh, I mean, first of all, we waited in a huge line um, to see it, and you know, and just that was the, that the re like the remaster. That's the, with the added footage. Like there. the best thing about my collection of Star Wars movies is I have that weird pressing, like where you get the remastered. Oh, the you have yeah, I see have, those. Are I the, have a set of those. And the best thing, and and I bought all six movies that way, even though the yeah. first three are not remastered anything. But we we usually watch in the machete order, where you watch uh, four, five, three, six. Someone said that. Yeah, someone said that. Two, three, four, five, two, three, six. Is it yeah. two? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, somebody said you're supposed to watch them in that so, order. And the funny thing is, my episode one has a crack in it. Oh shit! <laughs> like I opened it up and I was like, oh, it's only episode one. Like because I I yeah. only watched it the once, and that was to show Sam and How or just to watch it. She's seen it in the theaters. But we were just going to watch them in order. Yeah. And so I have no use to watch yeah. one anyway, so it didn't hurt my feelings any. The thing I like about this trailer is it feels Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Like, the other ones, like, those, those prequels really, I mean, there were, like, homages to Star Wars, but at, at the end of the day, the finished product didn't really feel... It didn't start to feel like Star Wars until, honestly, like, the last maybe... 40 minutes with the fight with Obi-Wan and like that's sort of like... But even then it was like yeah. Star Wars light. It uh, was, it was. And see, my, my, my biggest problem with like like the prequels where I hope this one, you know, kind of builds a whole new sort of, you know, ex you know expands the universe in a more po positive because like those other ones, they, they, they try so hard to explain things that didn't need to be explained and then, you know, kind of took away the magic that Star Wars had, right? That was the thing, you had this... Te technical, logical, advanced world. What are you talking about? I really want to know about those metaphors. <laughs> 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 you know, and that was the cool thing about Star Wars. You had this, like, 
you know, this future events, you know, civilization with this, this still this mystery, there's still mystery and magic behind it, right? That's but, like, I was talking about this not too long ago, is that episode two, three, episode one, two, and three, that's it. The Jedis are so douchey, like, they're kind of asses, like, in the original, like, four, five, six, any of, like, Yoda, for instance, Yoda's a good example. Yoda's fun and kind of kiddish. Yeah, yeah, And then in the awful, original, yeah. he's kind of an asshole and kind of a dink. Like, he's <laughs> yeah. not really funny, he's yeah. just kind of a jerk. And he's supposed to be, like, the, in my view, he's supposed to be the Jedi. And Anakin sits right beside him and he can't tell, like, Anakin's going to screw the world up. So I'm kind of worried for the fact of douchey Jedis that we're going to see that happen in this. Yeah. But I'm hoping that, well, my buddies told me that in the books, Luke ends up making a school. Yeah, yeah. He and making, I'm really yeah. hoping... He, he starts the new Jedi. Yeah. Kind of, yeah so yeah. I'm hoping we see some of that. Yes. Like, I'm not hoping we see the whole movie that way. No, but you're right, but yeah. a little bit of it to know, like, there's more than just Luke in there. Luke, Leia, because... Yeah. This, 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 it's been so long since I've, I've, I've read that and stuff. Like, you know, I think the last story of this book I read was that Dark Plegasus, which is kind of like... A prequel to episode one, like it talks about how Dark City has became Sith Lord and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, again, like I said, there's so much we could talk. I mean, there's so many theories out there, right? I mean, like I've read theories that they're going to kind of tie the old Republic in, 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 into it, or sorry, stuff before the old Republic. We're like, because um, I read somewhere like the 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 lightsaber that Kilo Ren has is not really a lightsaber; it's a Force saber, which is like, well, the what the hell? Yeah, like it's ancient Sith technology, which, you know, the only way to access that would have been to go into the tombs of the ancient Sith. Because, I mean, remember, the, the, the Sith as a race has been extinct. It's just the, it's the, the practices of the Sith that the, the people use right, to, to access the dark side, right? So, I mean, um, I mean that's an interesting theory, theory too. That, like, that would be super cool. Because, again, that, that was always something I, I always thought they, they should explore. And it, it looks like they're going to, like, with Rogue One, it looks like they're going to explore the... You know the other parts of the universe as well, which is kind of kind of cool. Did you guys see the the the, the lead trailer for Rogue One? No. No, it looks it looks pretty. I mean, it's supposed to be more tactical based and more like down to earth. They kind of want to stay away from the magic of the Jedi. And so it's it's going to be directed by the guy who did like Zero Dark Thirty and stuff like that. So nice. it'll be interesting. But yeah, so I mean, was Zero Dark Thirty directed by a girl? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, so maybe Sagaron. Woman. Oh, sorry. Woman, I guess so. But yes, I mean, yeah. Yeah, she also did uh, Hurt Locker. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's who, yeah. I'm sorry that I don't remember her name. Yeah, I forget her name, too. I think we're all on the same page, though, about Star Wars. I don't oh, think yeah. there's anybody out there that's going to disagree. Like, it's... That's almost, good, but you got to wait till it comes out. That's the big issue. I mean, I paid for the prequels to see them in the theater. I mean, I... The funny thing is, I don't go see movies that close to Christmas, but I will go sleep outside if I have to, to go oh, see yeah, a movie. Yeah, like, I definitely will be there on opening night, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm super excited for Star Wars, so yeah. So there you have it. Well, I'm glad one of the three could please you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. You can't like everything. In the descriptions below, check out the Pale Productions Facebook page, and if you enjoy what you see, give it a thumbs up. Also, there's other videos on the Pale Productions YouTube channel. Check those out, from beverage reviews to Lazy Day Let's Play, which isn't a real Let's Play show, but it has to do with video games. Yeah, but I'm not in those ones. These guys aren't in any of those. It's all about me. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope we see you next month. Thanks for watching.